News 3's Vicky Gonzalez joins us live outside the Bellagio Fountains, shooting right on cue. And Vicky, you got a rare inside look that we've never had before. Jessica, it really is remarkable the amount of work that goes into this eight and a half acre body of water from a cave to a tower. We go behind this liquid masterpiece with the most recent song as our soundtrack appropriately named A Town Called Paradise. It's a universal dance, even with the modern twist. The Bellagio Fountain Show has transcended time and outlasted facts effortlessly since 1998. And Thomas Penny has been watching from day one. But what makes Thomas special is that he's been a part of every fountain show since it debuted in October of 1998. Tucked away from the public, Thomas opened his extraordinary view to News 3. Come on! The fountain's manager watched the show get built more than 17 years ago. Come here, come here. It's now become a family with mascots. They have that, like, Einstein hair that comes out. That's Dot and Dash. They're joined at the hip. They don't like to be separated. Around 60 ducks and ducklings live a lush lifestyle. They like it at Bellagio so much, they don't even migrate anymore. A lot of them just stay here year-round. Okay, so this is where it all goes down. The nuts and the bolts behind the largest fountain show in the country with a pretty cool nickname, the Bat Cave. A team of engineers is behind the more than 200,000 shows and counting. This barge is basically the heart and soul of the maintenance. With a requirement of getting wet. Patience, I know, Four turbo. Fingers, yeah. Spider. What is that? Those are all those are all the nicknames of the divers. Everybody that works here is a certified diver. It's a unique job. This is our vacuum cleaner. They don't make anything big enough for a 22 million gallon, eight and a half acre lake, so we built it ourselves. This bat cave is busy 20 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's go this way. Maintaining more than 1,200 water devices. This is actually the dancing waters. Gracefully skyrocketing upwards of 450 feet in the air. Every day is a challenge. You never know what you're going to face. You know, you think you have it figured out, and then it throws your curveball. But to get the best view, it's a trek. All right, this is a mess level. Walking above the casino to okay. weave through a maze. Watch it. Low here, low here, low here, low here. Here you need to leave breadcrumbs or pieces of paper or you'll spend a long time up here. And reach exclusive heights. This is show control. Are you guys all okay climbing ladders? It may be snug, but show control is a front row seat for a playlist of nearly three dozen songs. This is just where it all happens. Complete control. And it all comes down to one green button. This may be the brains of the fountains, but people like Thomas are the heart. And it looks beautiful. It's a great show. And I love it. So. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> 17 years old. Wow. And Thomas adds his crew of 31 men and women has virtually zero turnover and I think it's clear that we can understand why it is one of the coolest gigs in a place where bigger and better continues to outdo itself. Live outside the Bellagio, Vicky Gonzalez, News 3, back to you Jim and Jessica in the studio. Love it. I very, absolutely very cool. love that story. Not even the ducks want to leave. I know, and the employees either. Why would you leave a job awesome. like that? I just love the the fact that the guy is such a character because it's just all about creativity down there, and it was just fun having him walk us around. And didn't you love the fact that he actually got a little choked up at the end? He's emotionally <laughs> invested in it, and it's yeah. beautiful. I mean, anyone who's ever seen it, I've gotten tears in my eyes watching it. Yeah. My parents were here and had the same reaction. I think we all have a story like it that. It is. It's powerful. Yeah. It's moving, right? It's great. Uh,